breaking news, a dangerous close call at sea. A Chinese warship nearly colliding with a U.S. destroyer near Taiwan. That's according to a Canadian report. That terrifying near miss captured on video obtained by Global News. The Chinese warship reportedly coming within 150 yards of hitting the American destroyer, the USS Chung Hoon. It happened during a rare joint mission between Canada and the U.S. It's just the latest in a series of provocative moves by the Chinese military. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin speaking at a summit overseas, saying today that the U.S. won't stand for any coercion and bullying of our allies by China. Earlier this week, the Pentagon released new video of a Chinese fighter jet coming within 400 feet of a U.S. reconnaissance plane over the South China Sea. All of this as we learn of a secret trick that the CIA director made to China, meeting with his counterparts there. ABC's Ike Joshi leading us off from Washington. Tonight, the harrowing moment, a Chinese warship dangerously cuts off a U.S. destroyer in the Taiwan Strait. The Global News, a Canadian television network, capturing the moment while traveling with a Canadian ship participating in a joint U.S. Canada mission, allegedly in the international waters separating China and Taiwan. Reporting that the Chinese naval ship came within 150 yards of the USS Chengdu, picking up considerable speed before cutting across its bow. The HMCS Montreal trailing behind right before the near collision. Its commander reportedly calling the maneuver not professional. At the time of the incident, Defense Secretary Austin attending a summit in Singapore with both Canada and China's defense ministers. We will support our allies and partners as they defend themselves against coercion and bullying. To be clear, we do not seek conflict or confrontation. But we will not flinch in the face of bullying or coercion. We need to be eyes wide open on China. And the fact is that they have become an increasingly disruptive global power. The potentially disastrous incident comes as the U.S. accuses China of continuing to engage in aggressive confrontations. Last week, a Chinese fighter jet coming within 400 feet of a U.S. reconnaissance plane over the South China Sea. The U.S. plane bouncing wildly through the jet's turbulence, the Pentagon labeling it unnecessarily aggressive. And earlier this year, the U.S. intercepting a Chinese spy balloon that flew over the continental U.S. before being shot down off the coast of the Carolinas. Still, efforts to maintain consistent communication between the U.S. and China continue. A U.S. official confirming to ABC that CIA Director William Burns traveled to Beijing in May, meeting with his counterparts, marking the highest level visit to Beijing since that spy balloon was shot down. Ike Jachi joining us now from Washington and Ike, a Chinese official tonight appearing to double down on their position towards Taiwan. Yeah, when China's defense minister said today, there's no room for concessions or compromise in regards to Taiwan's sovereignty. And during that event in Singapore, Defense Secretary Austin chastised China for refusing to participate in more talks with the U.S. military. Ike Jachi with those late developments. Thank you. So I want to give all praise to Abba Shamir, Abba Shamir, Kaganaz, Anna, Karen, is impossible, man, the truth, on the shoot of knowledge, and the body of Abba Shamir, put his spirit out, is impossible. Men in the shoot of knowledge, guard the shoot of knowledge, Lord is true, and I was called, yeah, yeah, Bashim, yeah, Bashim, Kakadas, give all praise, yeah, Bashim, yeah, Bashim, Kakadas. That was AB, uh, World, World News Tonight, uh, ABC News Report, talking about, um, close calls for U.S. and, uh, China, um, 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 ships in the sea. They came in with a hundred, you know, hundred meters of one another, we say. 150 yards from one another. Uh, Canadian news source uh, uh, reports that a uh, Chinese warship came about 150 yards of colliding with American destroyer in the Taiwan Straits during a joint U.S. and Canadian exercise. And also you had a uh, uh, aggressive incident relating to China planes with another uh, U.S. Um, plane in, in the air, believing that uh, the Taiwan area as well. So you're seeing a lot of aggression relating to one side against another. As that report states, you're seeing the um, you're seeing the um, aggression with these um, um, with China. 
you know, I believe another report talking about some, uh, let me see. Um, no, there's, this is a port I saw earlier. Talking about uh, U.S. Taiwan sign, U.S. and Taiwan sign a tr sign a trade deal as China t tensions rise. So this could be one of the many reasons why you're seeing more aggression on China's side regarding the U.S. Maybe because the closeness U.S. is um related to involvement with Taiwan. Um, U.S. and Taiwan sign a new trade deal as tensions with China rise. The announcement comes ahead of the high-level global security summit in Singapore this weekend. U.S. Defense Tec Secretary Lloyd Austin and Chinese counterpart Li Shenfeng uh, uh, Li Shanfu attended the um, Shang um, the Shangri-La Dialogue Annual Defense Summit. In that report, in that video, he was, um, when he was talking, he was talking relating to that. Because, um, he was talking relating to, you know, the incident regarding, the, um, you know, the, um, the close collision. When he was at, um, relating to, um, this, um, when he was in that video relating to the, um, this U.S. and Taiwan deal. Um, in the recent years, the relationship between the U.S. and China has become increasingly strained. Yeah, so over a variety of reasons, man. So you're seeing, you're seeing um, more of the aggression. This is BBC News report. You have first, um, first uh, post on um, Vantage and various other ones talking about that. So, so you're seeing more aggression with um, on the China side with, regarding um, against U.S. Could be from the trade deal. Like I said, involvement with Taiwan and other things. Let's get some scriptures real quick. Matthew 24. Twenty-four and six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And that's what you're seeing: nation against nation, mighty nations, mighty kingdoms versus one another. There shall be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in different places. Nineteen and two of Isaiah, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian, and there shall be fighting everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom, kingdom against kingdom, man. So that division is being set forth. Think not that I come to send peace, but I say neighbor rather division. So the division is being set forth upon these nations, man. Whether it's North Korea, South Korea, China. India, uh, Pakistan, uh, Russia, Turkey, whatever country, you know what I mean? So these th that vibration is being set forth relating to the division of, of these mighty kingdoms, man. There's another report earlier talking about 
the LAC, which is the line actual uh, line actual center, I believe. And that relates to uh, the area between uh, India and China, relating to their territory area. You know, pretty much the territorial lines of India and China, man. So you have tensions with China and India because they, you know, neighboring territories. So you're seeing all the tensions with all these nations, man. You're seeing all the, you're seeing all the tension between these nations. You know, so... I want to get one more. Nations... One and seven. Behold, suddenly, suddenly, let me see. Chill out. Behold, have the golden cup. Babylon having the golden cup in the Lord's hand that have made all the earth drunk. And that golden cup is what? What's in that golden cup? The philosophy, ideologies, and the wines that these other countries had drunk and they have become drunk, man. Again, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that had that that made all the earth drunken through pushing the Western philosophy, the ideologies, policies, and different things of the West, pushing on these other nations, man. And the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Now they realize that they don't like the, the ways of the West, man. So these nations becoming mad. That's why you see in the tensions. Uh, these nations, man, towards, towards, towards Babylon, the West, man. Babylon suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be healed. And that bomb goes to ointment. If she would be able to be healed, she would be healed. But she can't be healed. Number nine. And we would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. And let us go into every into his own country her judgment reach him into the heavens and is lift up even into the skies forsake her go to your own country uh, scripture talks about Micah 2 and 10 um, arise ye depart for and this is not a place of your rest uh, is polluted shall destroy you with a sword of destruction so separate yourself from her or you're going to take her judgment man and everyone will go to their own kind and their own kin and their own country, man. For our judgment reach it because the Lord remember her iniquities, her wickedness, and her iniquities, man. Then reach it into the heavens and lift it up even into the skies where the Lord remembers, man. So that's the point. So these nations are mad, man. These nations are mad. And they ultimately are going to turn relating to prophecy against Babylon, man. So, um, that being said, there's something short, real quick, relating to that. That was near collision. You're seeing a lot more aggressive acts, like I said. You are, uh, um, a China fighter coming in contact with, I guess, with a renaissance reconnaissance type plane US plane almost you know doing maneuvers aggressive not not China also Russia too you know Russia had a few incidents with uh, US um, 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 near collisions and, and aggressive um, aggressive aerial tactics and um, and so forth so these nations are beginning um, these nations are beginning to you know show their horns a little bit man, in a matter of speaking that being said, I hope this helped. This is Zaya. I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh Shemir Shabbat Shemir Kagadash. Zaya Wolf Shabbat.